Let's talk about God's will, God's will for you and for me. Some of us have the erroneous idea that if we surrender to God, if we give him our lives completely, that he's going to send us somewhere far off, that he's going to send us somewhere that we do not want to go, that he's going to have us do things that we do not like at all, that we'll have a miserable life if we surrender our lives to God. Because you see, we have this erroneous idea that God's perfect will for us is perfect for him, but not for us. But you see, that is not right at all. Because God created us and he knows what, how he made us and he knows what makes us tick. He knows what makes us happy. He knows what's good for us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. God is our creator God. And let us remember that God created us not as somebody to use and somebody to be hard on, but rather he created us so that he could have a relationship with us. And he loves us. And he realizes that we need good work to do, a good purpose in life. And he's created us to fulfill that purpose. And so far from God wanting to give us something we won't want to do, when we surrender our lives to God and we trust him completely, when we say, God, your will be done, not my will be done, God gives us, God sends us, God blesses us, but it fits us perfectly. I love Frederick Buechner and his statement about this when he says this, the place that God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meets. This world needs God's presence. This world needs people surrendered to him that can do his will. And his will is God's perfect will, not just for God, but also for you and for me. Have a wonderful day. May this thought carry you today as you go about your day's activities. Blessings on you.